Hey guys, happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to continue with our pit run this week. So yeah, so let's go check it out. So currently right now we're on this boss here, Miss Lappin. Let's take a look at her skills. So whenever an ally pierce triggers, we'll give a health boost to allies. Every third turn will freeze wounded enemies. And on the fifth turn, we'll summon three bunnies for one turn. Okay, so a couple things. Looks like they will have heroes with pierce. Pierce is a skill that allows them to deal damage behind other targets. So we want to make sure that we don't have our heroes behind other targets to take the pierce damage. And then also we're going to see a health boost. So that means that we'll need to deal more damage because of their their higher health. On the third turn, we'll freeze wounded enemies, so we want to make sure that we have our heroes that are either fro uh, not frozen, but uh, healed, or have metal shield, or uh, are just destroyed altogether. And then also on the fifth turn, we're going to see three bunnies come out for one turn. We'll need to see what happens when the bunnies come out, and uh, yeah, we'll take care of them when they do. So yeah, so let's hop right in. <laughs> hop right in, bunnies. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with our damage pattern guys first. And looks like we have double coverage on lanes A and D. We also do have some buildings, so let's take a look at those. We have a Caesar's head, which is nice. Uh, let's start with... I guess we kind of do want to have protection with our own buildings, so let's go with that. Yeah, we'll go with this range hero over here on A1. Just to clear out this building, draw some heroes over to here, and then also potentially draw damage away from the Caesar's head. This will actually be destroyed potentially next turn, even with the poison. Um, you know, I will give this hero extra attack. That's fine. I don't want to use our shuffles quite yet, just because we'll need to deal with other heroes for later. So we got this Aqua Spirit freezing to our range heroes. We'll go with the Shark Summons. Looks like we'll have enough damage to attack over there. Then we're gonna go with this melee hero on a three. This mermaid, let's see. Yeah. freeze the random enemy. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, uh, we'll go with another hero over here. I don't want to use this freeze hero skill. This adherent just has a little bit of an attack boost when the pierce goes off. Okay, we have this angular vol with this attack deal damage to enemies behind the target, which effectively counts as a pierce. Or punch through, I guess. Uh, we'll go with this range hero over here on D1 just to spread out our damage. Oh, and we actually have lethal right there. Wow. So much for the bunnies. <laughs> so that was Ms. Lappin. Okay, we're on this next boss here, Goon Zaynar. Let's take a look at his skills. So whenever he is attacked, we'll deal damage equal to 50% of the attack of the attacker. Every third turn, we'll get block. And then on the sixth turn, we'll deal damage to the warlord. So a couple things. Looks like we're going to take damage whenever we attack with one of our heroes. So that means we want to have heroes with either low attack or high health. So that way we can still survive our damage. Every third turn, we're going to see the warlord get block. So we want to make sure that we can deal as much damage as we can before they have a lot of block. And we that also means that we'll need to have heroes with high attack and then on the sixth turn we're going to see damage happen to our warlord because we are the enemy so we want to make sure we deal as much damage as we can as mentioned before but this time to avoid damage to our warlord so yeah so we'll hop right in okay so let's start with our damage grounds once again and we have double coverage on lanes b and c take a look at the buildings Okay, and then I guess we also have this vampirism pentagram, a uh, magic spot here, which will allow us to get extra vampirism. I do actually, meaning if we want to get rid of this building, but I guess for now we'll just deal damage this way. We do have this other building on A1 that deals damage at the end of the turn. Okay, we got this lucky rabbit with some pierce and some freeze, but all those heroes are gone. Go with this melee hero on A3 just to block and prote protect this building. Hey. Okay, I don't want to use our shark summon quite yet because we're only going to be able to destroy that building. I guess we can place this range hero behind this melee hero. Okay, and that building did destroy the other building at the end of the turn, which is good. We'll go for the shark summon now, just to be, because we have these open lanes. Uh, this priest is here with some health boost. We'll clear this one out. Go with this melee hero with the rather low attack. I can see the reflect damage happening to these heroes. And now we have all the lanes open, so that is good. We'll keep going like that. We'll just clear out some more heroes. This owl here with some negative attack. 
Next turn, we're going to see blocked, and then also we're going to take damage to our Warlord, which is okay. We are currently at full health. This piece of ice here does have a little bit of block, so that actually puts him at 80 health. We'll place this range hero over here, just to destroy it. And as you see now, the damage happening to the Warlord. Okay, we have this Soul Hunter with an, a health boost whenever he kills. Go with this range hero over here, just to destroy him. This Wyvern also does have flight. She gives a little bit of protection. Okay, another hero destroyed. Let's go with this melee hero with the high health. Okay, well, you know, we can actually summon another hero with high health as well. Yeah! Okay, we'll go with this. Hmm. We'll go with this melee hero over here on a three. I do want to still protect this building, even though it doesn't deal that much damage, but it's still good to have as a resource. Okay, uh, let's see. We have this lucky rabbit once again. I'm thinking if we should actually go destroy these heroes. Let's actually go with this melee hero over here. <laughs> Got some health back because of our melee kill. This red orc here has extra attack, which does allow us to deal some more damage. We'll do a shuffle now to find a hero to destroy this range hero. This hero has a little bit of block, so I won't be able to destroy that. Uh, we'll, don't want to use this legendary, but I guess we're also running kind of low, so I guess that'll be all right. Whoa! I summon this Regardus on D2 because I want to have another range hero back here as opposed to having the Hellgate come out and block, and blocking the, the spot. Okay, uh, we're going to let that happen. We'll go with another melee hero over here just for damage. We'll have the Regardus actually destroyed because of the reflect damage on the Lord. Yeah. Okay, against this owl, we'll give the attack boost to our male heroes to destroy those, and then we'll do another common summon here. Once again, spreading out our damage and also getting rid of the more commons so that we don't have to draw them for the next couple of bosses. Okay, we'll spread out another range hero over here. As you can see with the amount of block on the warlord, these heroes on lane C aren't dealing damage. Some heroes. And we should have lethal here on this attack. So yeah, so there we go. So that was Goon Zanar. Okay. So yeah, we are out of attempts. So we will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher. Signing off.